Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel in more Coral Island. So when we last left off, we were working on, let's see, getting a bronze bar and we have that now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and that will complete this next task. All right, smelting for progress complete. So when I walked out this morning, there was a crow and they got me for one of my crops. So luckily we have, let's see, we have the, where'd it go? We have the recipe for a makeshift scarecrow now. So I can go ahead and make one of those and I'm going to put it out. Let's see. Okay, I think, oh no, it's not going to cover everything. Uh, I think these are ready to harvest, so I'm gonna go on this end. And I'll just put it right here. Well, not in the middle of the crops, obviously. I will say the one thing about using a controller, it is very difficult to Kind of make stuff do what you need it to do. All right, so some of these are going to be vulnerable, but that's okay. We'll shift everything around when we can. But we've got one potato, two potatoes, and we'll go ahead and water everything else. Yeah, I apologize for. I know that. <laughs> Those first couple of minutes are kind of hectic. It has actually been a little while since I've played this and I'm not completely used to the controller, um, all the buttons on the controller yet. So we're figuring it out. All right, so we, we got our scarecrow. We're good there for our quest. We completed this, so we'll go ahead and claim our $100 for that. So now all we really have going on is the museum expansion quest, and we just have to donate a whole bunch of stuff to the museum. So we are golden there. And I'm gonna go over to the mastery tab. So all of these uh, categories that I have skilled up in, we can actually uh, do some upgraded skills here. So in farming, we can do stay hydrated, we water the soil, and it stays watered, the, or a chance for it to stay watered the following day. Double crop, chance to harvest double crops, and a chance for crops to grow faster. I'm thinking, I think I'll go with Crop Express. Because there's only a 5% chance at double crops, but we have a 10% chance at them growing faster. So maybe I'll go here first. All right, we also have a point in foraging so we can increase sprinting speed or a chance for regular trees to drop hardwood. Um, I think we'll go with the speed. All right, mining, 20% chance at double ore, 5% at double gems, 15% chance to break surrounding rocks. That could be helpful. These two would be helpful for money, probably. Let's do the ore for now. All right, catching, 5% double catch. 5% less aware, lowers awareness of insects and ocean critters. Uh, let's do this. Maybe that'll give me a better chance of catching things. Oh, okay. And light feet too just unlocked, so we can do that next. Okay, fishing. Lowers fish resistance while fishing and chance at a double catch. Um, I guess since we did this for catching, let's do the same for fishing. All right, and that's everything. Okay, so our main goal is to expand the museum. 
So I think I'm going to work on that. We'll just go into the mines. So I'm going to put some of this stuff up and I will go straight to the mines and I'll see you there. Okay guys, so I am in the mine, I'm in the earth shaft, and we're going to go to level 10, that's where we got to last time. Um, all I did with those two potatoes, I saved one and I decided to sell the other. Since I haven't sold any at all yet. All right, but it looks like um, I broke all these last time we were here and it looks like we can do it again, so we've got a little bit of compost. I also grabbed some candy tree seeds in case I run out of energy down here. I'll have a little snack. Did I just see a giant spider over there? Uh, yep. Alright, well let's get to opening some of these rocks. I don't know if I'm going to need to go all the way around here. Might as well just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, okay. All right, I've got some monster essence there. Oh, okay, there's our way down. Okay, I'm just gonna go around here just in case there are actually any gems or there's some ore, so that's good. Oh, and the spider dropped some ore too. Okay, so no, no gems. I'm just going to avoid that spider. No need to waste any energy we don't have to. All right, so let's head down. So our biggest goal in the mines, um, well for me, is going to be to unlock all of the, um, the floors. So if in every trip, if I can get at least five floors in, I will call it a successful trip. All right, we've got another gem. We already have that, so we'll be able to sell this one. Oh, and this um, little vein here, this is pretty cool. So you just keep hitting and it will eventually uh, of course, it's going to run into a rock. But it will eventually turn into a big one and you can hit it a few times and get copper ore. So now I'm kind of glad I went with the double ore drop. No! Ooh, that was close. Alright, I see another... Oh my god, I'm stuck. Help. <laughs> These things are vicious with this slime. Okay, if I can just get over here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move this rock out of the way. Oh, this is a short one, but that is pretty awesome. So we've already got 19 ore. Now we just need to find, no find a way out of here and there it is oh that's awesome okay we've already got our way down I'm just gonna look around and see if there's like any gems or ore you know anything that's kind of easy to get to oh stay away stay away stay away oh my gosh oh no oh no oh no oh no Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Good grief. I don't know, that probably wasn't worth it. Not a single gem. And... Just a few ore. Okay, so if we can make it down one more flight, or one more floor, then we are good. Is one thing that always happens to me in these games, I'll get to the floor 
before it saves your progress and I run out of energy and I don't have anything to replenish so I have to leave and then I come back and have to start all over so instead of wasting energy or my little candy tree seeds I decided to just find my way down before anything else all right let's look around here and I'm not having very good luck with gem rocks at all I found one this entire time and this whole floor there's some ore all right I mean we've got some ore but no gemstones so I think I'm going to get these and I'm gonna call it a day in the mines um, my purpose of coming down here was to make a little more progress which we did and to try to find some things to donate to the museum but today is apparently not a good day for that I and mean, we're smashing it with the ore though I mean in my opinion anyway 40 is pretty good I think I'm just gonna go down and see yeah I should have just Oh, dude, stop following me. Found one gem rock down here, but it's the same thing that we've been getting this whole time. So other than, you know, for money, selling it, that's not helping. All right, so I'm going to go back to the farm. And I think what I'll do is grab my net and my fishing rod. Oh, you know, I completely forgot I do have two earth geodes so we can take those but I am gonna grab you and you so we'll take these to the blacksmiths and see what we have hopefully both of them are new things oh it's Saturday so I'm wondering uh oh Hey there, Mal. It's good to see you here. I'm just heading to Raja's Coffee. Are you out socializing? Oh, well, not really. Just working. Uh, yes and no. Who is Pufferfish? The oil drilling company. It's easier if I show you. Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. All right, so there is definitely a story here. Let's see. Starlet Town Rank F. See that big old F on the town rank? Yes, that's us. It didn't happen out of the blue, though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet Town's A rank trophy. An A, Mal. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F. Until... Ugh, this old man is going to need to sit down to tell you what happened. Ooh, the drama. Some time ago, Judge Ross, so she does speak, just not to me. That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. We can report that visitors come here to see your museum, the heritage sites, and the ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these things at the time. Overview. <laughs> Today we're awarding Starlet Town with a rank of... F. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, look at this chick. Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. 
Last year, an oil spill from a neighboring island made its way here and wreaked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time, those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new pufferfish building. Their plan to bail us out is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, the ocean, and the heritage sites, it's hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town used to be good, Mel. Great, even. Business was booming. The town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to A and regain the trust of visitors, We'll have no choice but to work with Pufferfish. Refilling the museum seems straightforward and more than possible. It will just take time. Well, I'm working on it. But healing the sick heritage sites or getting rid of those stubborn roots on the ocean, where do we even start? How do we even start? I got you, Mayor. I am on it. This place is going to be... A rank in no time. Our town is in a tough position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about you join me to get coffee? The walk and fresh air will do us both good. Is everything all right? That was weird. Oh, okay, so we're not getting coffee. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go... I think I've talked to you before, I can't remember. Antonio, it's very bright out lately. It's the spring sun, it's waking up again. I think I've talked to you before... Pretty sure I've talked to you before. Jack. I have talked to both of you. Uh, let's just get up here and sell. Well, not sell, but open these geodes. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, they are closed. Oh no. All right, does this show me their hours? Yes, it does. Saturday, 9 to 14. That's 2 o'clock, so I'm late by an hour. And they're closed tomorrow, so I guess we'll be sitting on these until Monday. Okay, I don't think I have done any fishing up here. So let's see, there should be... I think I have caught a pus moth already. Um, oh, but you know what? I have not. I forgot that they added um, this little, little tell you whether something has been donated or not. So, all right. So that is a new bug for us. Okay, let's see what else is around here. I thought I saw something to forage. Oh, I know I just said I was going to go fishing up here, but... Now that I've caught that bug, I'm just kind of on that mindset now. Um, where are you? Oh no. Okay, I've talked to you before. Ooh, okay. Striped Garden Caterpillar. That looks familiar. I may have gotten that already. Oh, what's going on here? Caravans, florist, and rare finds. Okay, you've got all kinds of stuff. Ordinary Scarecrow. That looks like it covers more than the makeshift Scarecrow. Um, that's a lot of money, but let's do it. Okay, hopefully I don't regret that. 
because honestly, I'm not sure um, if that covers more area or not. Okay, I see something moving through the grass here. Yeah, I think with the bugs, I'm just going to... I'm going to look for like a list. I know I said this before and then I said I wasn't going to do it, but I forgot about the fact that um, I would need to fill the museum with this stuff. So I'm going to find a list of when and where to find different types of bugs and fish. So I'm not going after the same old thing and I can find different stuff to put in the museum. All right, black phantom ghost fish. All right, a uh, jet black fish that likes to hover close to the riverbed. Mm -hmm. A zebra fish. Okay. I was scared it was going to be trash because it didn't put up a fight at all. I think in their last kind of major update, they made it so that the fish are, or you get more bites more frequently or something like that. So I'm glad we're not, you know, sitting here waiting forever. A crab. Good deal. So I think we've caught all new things. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is head to the museum after I grab these two things. I'm going to go ahead and donate all this stuff and then anything that is extra. Oh, I don't have my hoe. That stinks. Anything that's extra, I'll be able to sell and get some money. All right, so we have five new things that we can donate. That's really good. Got our moth, our black phantom and zebra fish, crab, and... Scarities beetle. Ooh, so close to another another gift too. All right, so we have donated the praying mantis before, which I thought was the case. Um, of course, the striped garden caterpillar. So we can sell those. Well, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm kind of wondering, I know I have some more people that I have not met yet. Okay. Now I do believe this one, this person here does not come until the summer. So we won't meet her until then. But these two I need to find. I'm gonna take a look at the map and see Oh, the tavern is hopping tonight. I wonder if they will be in there. Or is it these two people? I still don't know what... That whole area is blocked off. Okay, there's somebody down here. Which, um... Yeah, that's the person that's always there, but the area is blocked off, so I can't get to them. Okay, let's go into the tavern. I feel like it's going to be the same as last time. There was a question mark there as if there was someone that I hadn't met yet. But when I went in, there was no one there. I'm going to look at the calendar here. Okay, so tomorrow is Paul's birthday. I don't know what he likes. Okay, I think I have met everyone in here. Paul is cutting a rug. Uh, is it you? Yes, may I help you? My name's Luke. Pleasure is mine. Okay, it was? Okay, awesome. I'll say hi to Pablo here. Have you seen Pufferfish? Oh no. Okay, that's weird. I would buy them all a drink or something, but uh, I am low on funds. Okay, so we met everyone that's in here. 
and so we're looking for one more person that we can meet side part side ponytail female and none of you so whoever she is she's not in here okay we've leveled up in mining so now we can craft a rope or a stone sign we made 400 bucks hey those gems are 115 a piece the bugs were 50 and 55 and then 66 for one potato that's not not bad at all oh okay what is that you hear a voice but can't make out what's being said Mal, try to focus on my voice. Good, now listen closely. The sacred trees, please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. Ooh, that's bright. Okay, yeah, I've seen those. Touch the tablet to summon them. Ooh, who's them? They will open your eye. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go, Mal. Well, that's a freaky dream. Hey, quest of the day. Inspect a tablet at a sacred tree. Cool. I'm gonna just check the weather for tomorrow. I don't know if it even matters. All right, it's sunny. All right, day seven. So I have to, have to, have to remember Paul's birthday. Okay, last plant is uh, watered. So now, I, you know, I honestly don't know what to do today. I know I need to get these um, geodes processed, but I don't know if I wanna go to the mines or if I just wanna fish and catch bugs. I guess we might as well go to the mines. Uh, the blacksmith is not, oh, they're not open today. And I have nowhere to put this stuff. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab the scarecrow. We'll put our earth geodes there just to get them out of the way. We'll put this guy over here. And so he's not taking up space in my pocket or my uh, chest. Okay, since the museum is open, I'm gonna run over here and we'll just go ahead and donate this so it is done. There you go, little cricket. I think one more we'll get our next little prize. Now, I kind of hate that I don't carry at least my net with me when I'm walking around. So that way if I see some stuff I can um, you know try to catch it along the way but um, I don't have enough space for that. All right, so here is one of the sacred trees. Let's go ahead and inspect. You don't understand what it says. What is that green smoke? Doesn't look safe to breathe at all. Whoa. Oh no. 
Will you just pop up out of nowhere and have the nerve to be scared? Okay. Well? Was that it? I don't know where it went. Or he or she, I don't, I don't know what that was. Okay, so will it tell me more? Oh, you know what? While we're thinking about it, before we even go in here, let's take care of our skill point for mining. Okay, we could up our ore. Right, let's go ahead and do the gems, even though we're not finding any. Uh, let's do Rock Domino. The fact that I haven't been finding any gem rocks is uh, it's making me not really want to be in a hurry to do that. Alright, so I have no idea what that was about. Maybe it's uh, maybe it will tell me later or tomorrow or something in another dream. Okay, level 15, here we go. Well, let's see if anything has reset. Ooh. Well, guess I should have done the double gems. Ugh, stop. <laughs> okay, do any other gems exist other than this fire agate thing? Okay, no more. So I'm gonna get this ore though. There's a bunch over here. Okay. Good grief. Give me something different here. Ooh, okay, there is my way down. Um, I am just going to avoid a fight. If I don't have to, then why do it? Oops, oops, oops. Way to go, noob. Nope, not going that way. Um, there is a, an ore vein back there, but... Uh, uh, we'll just keep going. I don't really have, I mean I have five candy tree seeds, I could probably easily make more, but if I can kind of save them, then I'll do that. So I'm just trying to avoid as much conflict as possible. Alright, Earth level 20. So let's see. Oh, look at this. Ooh, explosive one. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but they're shooting for March for the uh, the spring update, and I think the NPCs are going to have bathing suits, and then there will be more monsters in the mines. That that might have been it. Um, the bathing suits, and then the monsters in the mine. Then there were a festival. There's a tree planting festival. That will be available. So that's pretty cool. It's still really early in the day, so if I can, you know, keep having good luck on finding the um the paths down, then I'm just gonna keep going. And hopefully I can get to 25 here. Okay, if we can just get down one more, I'm gonna call it a day. Stop, stop. See, no, I don't like that, that's not fair. Like, if I have to pause to eat, I think the monsters should be paused. Spider fur. 
Is there attacking me? Well, I can't run away. All right, everybody, fingers crossed that we can find our way down. All right, we got it. If I had just started in this direction, <laughs> could have gone a lot quicker. All right, well, we made it to level 25, so I'm happy about that. Uh, we've got one... Just one gem. They are really... You know, it's one thing to just have one gem in this level, but at least give me something new. Like, this just, I mean, level 25, I should be getting more than one type of gem by now, right? Well, that was a pretty good day. Oh, we did not, um, we did not get anything for Paul. I don't have anything in my pocket that's good enough to give him. I need to find a flower or something. And where do they live? You know, they usually hang out over here somewhere. Maybe he's in the bar? Oh, there he is. He might be on his way to the bar. Okay, so I need to find like a flower or something that I can forage and give to him. There we go, perfect. Okay, we've got a tulip. I think that will be good enough just to say that we gave him something. And I think you get extra friendship points when you give them something on their birthday. All right, it's six o'clock on a Sunday, so I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, he did go after all. All right, so let's head to the tavern. This is special. Thank you for the birthday gift. Okay, awesome. He liked it. Maybe I will do a little bit of socializing. I'm going to see if there's anyone here that I haven't met. No, definitely not. Planning to go to the Cherry Blossom Festival now? You don't want to miss it. Frank will be manning the grill, and my brother is more or less the grill master of Coral Island, so... Okay. Let's say hi to you guys. Actually, I want to see what you have. What is that? Coffee, sarabi, basil pesto pasta? And these drinks are expensive. Red velvet cake. That is my personal favorite. I think there is a very fine line. A lot of people don't like red velvet cake for some odd reason. And I cannot trust those people. But I will admit that if red velvet cake is not done right, then it, it's not that great. But nobody can ever hold a candle to my grandmother's red velvet cake. All right, so we missed Joko, we've got Paul. Two more days will be Kenny's birthday. And then right after that, the Cherry Blossom Potluck. So maybe I'll save that daffodil for Kenny. All right, but let's hightail at home. I'm gonna put all this stuff up and then we'll check the mail. Okay, so I went ahead and put everything up that I'm gonna put up. I decided to go ahead and get some more bronze bars going. I've got five in here that we should be able to get. So let's see what's in the mail here. Come to Empty Cabin in Forest. We sell item to you. Empty Cabin in the Forest? I, th is, I think that's the one by the mine, right? I think I saw there, like to the left of the mine entrance I saw a cabin over there okay we're gonna sell all of these and we'll go ahead and sell this mushroom 
and that's it i really need to try to make some more of these candy tree seeds or find some other consumable for energy that's all we're gonna do for tonight i won't even worry about this little seven energy here oh i was gonna plant those seeds but that's okay all right let's go to bed All right, another level in mining. We're level three now. So we can craft the stone gate, stone fence, and stone floor tile. Oh, we've got level one in combat and we can make a ball of goop. Okay. Oh, and our relationship with Paul has gone up. So we've got uh, one full heart with him. 755 gold Slay from all those gems oh okay awesome so I think it looked like maybe a fallen tree or something was being fixed so maybe we'll be able to get across there and that has to do with the quest that we're on now. Okay, another sunny day. All right, we've got our crops here. Let's go ahead and get everything watered. I can't wait to upgrade this watering can. Actually, I mostly want to um, get some sprinklers. I don't think I've learned a sprinkler recipe yet. We've still got our bronze bars going. We've only got one, so it's taking a little while. But we'll leave them be. Come to empty cap. Okay, we did this already. PSA, the lab is now looking for a suitable diving candidate. All applicants must conduct an on-site test for compatibility. Visit the diving pier for more information. Oh, we finally get to dive? Are you serious? Human. <laughs> Afraid I was when you summoned me, but open the path she has to my home. This mean, human must come visit me. Understand you will after me, how to heal island. Left of your farm, my home. If confused, look at drawing I share. Chieftain. Okay, meet the chieftain left of your farm. Okay, that sounds pretty awesome. Let's let's go ahead and do that. It's really early. Is this leading me there? You guys see this at my feet, the little petals and the sparkles? Looks like it's leading me to where I need to go. Come on, I can't go that way. Well, it says to the left. I'm just gonna run. Well, I'm not sure if it's leading me or following my footsteps now. All right, I'm just gonna keep going and I guess, yeah, this is new. Okay, this is the tree I saw in the dream, so this is it. Wow, what is this? Human. Are those the same symbols that are on like the floors in the mines? I, Chieftain, thank you, human, to come here. Are you supposed to be a giant? I'm just gonna say you're a giant. Goom Goom. I, Chieftain, is giant. For long waited I have for you. <laughs> Come this way, look here. Seen you have these writings, but understood you do not. 
understand you do not, oh my gosh. See you not power of shrines, but see you must. Key they are to help goddess. Like, who's there? Help goddess, then sickness gone. Time now for ceremony. Fast we must do. Hurt only a little, but open your eyes well. Now, I don't want to do anything that's going to hurt. I do like that headdress though. Oh wow. Is cool. See, done so fast. Awakened you have to power of nature. Gungu? Alright, yeah, who's the goddess? That goddess must answer, not come from me. Ready you are to meet goddess. In Lake Temple, they're her home. Speak no more. Rest now, I must after ceremony. Again will I speak to you, human. <laughs> Not now. Later. Goombye! Well, that was weird. Third eye, you've unlocked the third eye. You are now able to read and understand the language of old. Alright, I'll take it. I'll also take these candy tree seeds. Can I mess with anything else around here? The way will open when at least two giants freed. Hmm. So I guess I only freed the chieftain. Now how do I free the other? I'm gonna get this tulip here. Okay, so it's still only 8 a.m. I believe I'm going to sell one of these carrots, probably keep the other. I still don't know what I need to keep and what I should just go ahead and sell. Oh, no, not both of them. Hey, okay, I don't guess I've sold any tulips, uh, but I might keep it anyway. Okay. I don't think the blacksmith shop opens until nine. I feel like if I go to the diving thing, that's going to be a whole drawn out process. So I want to make sure I get uh, get these geodes opened up first. But I guess just to waste time, I'm going to go over here. need to find some more things to donate, that's for sure. Have we been through here yet? I mean, I think we have. So, socket and pan in the furniture store. Okay, and then the clothing shop. We open at 10. Oh, meet the goddess at the lake temple. Let's do that since we're here. I think it's... Is it this way? Nope. Alright. Okay, there we go. Mount. 
At last we meet, but I don't have much time. Hmm. The altars. They will restore my power. Slowly I will heal the land. Start by completing an offering. Then I can bestow on you my blessing to travel between shrines. It will aid your j hmm? Temple offering. You can offer certain items to temple to help heal Coral Island. Okay, cool. So I think. Alright, I guess the one that is lit up here. Select an offering bundle, complete it to receive goddess blessings. Okay, so we've got six of these that we need to do. Go well, all four seasons, stuff from the ocean, and then essential resources. Okay, let's check this out. Alright, tin, wood, rock. I think I can do this. This should be easy enough. I have to do all seven of these items. That's not too bad. Okay, spring. Let's see, turnip and a carrot. Flower, is that a daisy? I've got the mushroom and wasabi. Okay, I should be able to do all of these except maybe the the flower. The ocean. I think we're about to go in the ocean, so we'll just take a look at that. Though I can't move up to hover over what these things are. I'm just gonna activate my mouse here yeah okay and it's all under this little banner here so I can't really see all right there's the summer stuff right, I didn't really mean to back out of there but okay so we've got a pretty good bit to to do there I don't think that it's that big deal big of a deal though Little wood satyr butterfly. I think that might be new. Sacred area. Okay, that's all it says. All right, so I need to get back down to the blacksmith shop. They should be open by now. Okay, let's process these five geodes. Marble. Okay, bronze ore. We have five of those. Five more bronze ore. Some stone. And five more bronze ore. Huh. Not the best, but I, at least I think this marble is new. I, I'm pretty sure it is because that fire thing is the only thing that we've gotten as far as gems. And the stone, uh, that was the exact amount that we need uh, for the temple goddess. But I'm actually not going to go all the way back over there. I'll just save it, take it another day. Alright, so we have the butterfly and the marble. Thirty compost. Okay. These rewards are. I, I don't know. I guess they're good. All right, we're almost halfway through. We just need to donate like four more things. And if we get into the ocean, then hopefully we'll be able to do that. You know, I forget this every single time. So let's do our skill points here. Okay, I think I was gonna go ahead and do the double 
gems next even though I'm not really getting anything okay combat increases the damage dealt by all weapons chance to strike twice in one attack 25% increase in the chance of dealing a critical strike let's do that Okay, here is all the new stuff that we've been able to craft. And I'm just going to check my quests here. So, the museum quest, the temple offering, we need to complete a temple offering. So we'll do that. And into the ocean, visit Ling at the diving pier. Alright, let's head that way. Okay guys, I went back by the house to just kind of drop off some stuff to empty up a little bit more pocket space, but now we are here. Oh, Ling looks pretty sad. Oh, hello there. I was just looking out to sea. Ever since the oil spill, people have forgotten about the ocean. Actually, that's not true. They still remember. It's just someone else's problem now. Someone else will fix it. Their concern is enough. It's a shame, because we can still do something about it. There's still time. Plus, all the valuable kelp down there is going to waste. Ooh, she is not happy. Sorry to unload on you like that. Are you here because of the letter I sent? Yes, I am. What am I going to do if this person doesn't work out either? By the way, my name is Ling. I run the lab in town. Oh, okay. Yeah, side part, side pony. This is who we were looking for. Here's the deal. You need a diving suit to get into the water, and I need the right someone to activate my science down there. For now, let's do an exchange. If you can activate five solar orbs in the ocean, you can keep the diving suit. Here's what a solar orb looks like. Okay. You'll want to bring your scythe to clear trash because the orbs are most likely buried under it. All right, I already have that in my pocket. If you're able to activate one, and let's assume something happens because something will, You'll have questions, I'm sure, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Whatever happens, just know that the solar orbs are the key to restoring our ocean and healing the sick coral. Since I can't go into the ocean myself, you'll be accompanied by Kibble, the bot. Oh, look. You'll learn more about how it works when you're down there. Let me know how it goes. I need to head back to my lab. Good luck, Mal. Alright, well there is Ling. That was the last person that we need to meet. Okay, dive into the ocean. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, that was the last person we needed to meet on our list. At least until summertime. Okay, activate five solar orbs, heal five coral sites. Alright, so as we just use our scythe to clear out some of this mess, I probably should have brought like some snacks or something so I could stay down here longer. Because having to clear all this stuff out is going to drain my energy quickly. Well, it's definitely not going to be a one day task. Got a coffer. Oh, there's, uh, there's the orb. How do I, oh, okay. All right, so it goes up to this thing. Oh, 
Do I need to... Okay, so this is the science that she has activated, so once the orb goes into whatever that thing is, something will pop up and heal the coral. Okay, so I guess wherever I see one of these, the orb will be buried somewhere nearby. So I'm not going to focus on just cleaning up everything just so I can save some energy. I'm going to look for those little tower looking things like that. Ooh, something to catch. Oh, I already have a starfish. Uh, oh well. Okay, so I can look around here for another orb. Scuba snack. Right, I'm assuming that will be helpful for energy. So I wanted to show you guys real quick. I just noticed this town rank tab here. Um, I think that's new after we talked to the mayor. But uh, this shows us the town rank and how far we are from reaching the next rank. So we're 40 out of 100 uh, to the next rank, rank E. And so what we can do to rank up, we have the ocean. We can improve the ocean quality by clearing trash, healing sick corals, and revitalizing aquatic life. We have the museum, so donating all this stuff. And then heritage, rejuvenate the island by completing offerings to the goddess at the temple. So that is, that's pretty awesome. I'm glad they show you that and show you how close you are to ranking up and what you need to do. So there's no question there. All right, so we are looking for the next orb. I don't know exactly how close or how far these typically are. You know, I really do like the message of this game and just the importance of like the, the recycling aspect of it. And you pick up all this trash and this scrap and it's not just about cleaning up, but you can actually use all of this stuff to make something new so nothing goes to waste I think that's pretty cool all right so my stamina is getting low kibble here is warning me um, I think I wish there was an easier way to get to my inventory, but I'm going to switch this out so I can get to my little snacks here. Alright, plus 70, that's pretty good. Alright, I'm going to go back up this way. Maybe the orb is up here somewhere. Just hope we can find it before my stamina runs out. All right, I don't know where this thing could be. I've only got one more little scuba snack left. Uh, let's try this area. I don't think I've been over here. And there are two more little things over here anyway. Okay, good. Well, there's one. It's not necessarily the one I was looking for, but hey, it's something. Let's see which way this goes. Ooh, fossil node. 
New discovery, a fossil. Bring it to the lab to process. Unearth which ancient creature's remains you've discovered. Alright, it's really cool. Okay, let's see if we can get this other one before we run out of energy. That would be really good. No, that's it's not gonna happen though. Is there anything that I can eat? Steamer clan. Uh I yeah, this is not something that I have to donate or offer up, so I can just eat these. It'll buy me a little bit more time. Alright, so I'm gonna... Oh, you know what? I think there's a way that you can move this. But I'll try it out next time. Alright, so it's about... It's almost 5 o'clock, so I think what I'll do... It's too late to try to open up um, these fossils and coffers and things, so I'm going to go get whatever this is for one thing. Oh, catch up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ugh. Alright, so I'm going to... This flower is like inside this tree. I have to really maneuver to be able to get it. Okay, so I was thinking, since we can't open up our little fossils and things for today, how about we just go ahead and make up our offerings? Or, you know, at least some of them. All right, so we've got the stone in the wood. What else? Did I need trash? No sea salt. I think that's the only one that I have. And I think we're good there. Okay, so I am going to skip on over to the temple. Alright, so we made it over to the little temple area. I'm going to go over here to the altar. And it tells you before you yeah, before you click on the bundle, how many you have. It's up in the top right corner there. Okay, so we'll do the stone and the wood. So we need five of each seed, ten sap, and ten, what is this? Fiber. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have all of those. So we'll be able, I'll bring all that stuff tomorrow. 10 fiber, 10 sap, 5 of each seed. And then I also need to bring my crops. I think I already have some more turnips growing because I sold all of the ones that we grew before. I have a carrot in storage. I think I have a daisy growing. Yeah, daisy. I think I have one growing, and I have a mushroom in wasabi already, so I'll bring those as well. But we'll take care of all that next time, I think. But I do need to get some of these ocean scavenger bowls. But I think um, this was a pretty good day, so we got to dive for the first time. We've opened up the altar so we can make offerings and then we should be able to start fast traveling pretty soon. I think as soon as we finish, uh, this is going to kill my energy trying to catch this thing. Let's do it anyway. Please be new. Oh. Okay, so I just passed out. Alright, well, there was that. Alright guys, so I guess that is my hint to call it a day. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and we got a lot done. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to give the video a like. Um, again, comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not, and I will see you in the next video.